Well, they make dangerously delicious pies, and they are voted best pie in D.C. for six years, running now by the city paper. And here to tell us the story of how it all got started are Rodney Henry and Steve McKeever, co-owners of Dangerous Delicious Pies. That's thanks, true. guys, nice and thanks for bringing in these delicious pies here. <laughs> Our pleasure. DangerousPiesDC.com, the website yes. for folks. Okay, so this is a really cool concept. Tell me how this got started. Well, basically, rock and roll stopped paying the bills, so when we were <laughs> off the road, we had no money, so we, people would invite you over for dinner, so we'd bring you up pies over there for as like, hey, here's a pie for you. Or actually, to get a date once in a while, I'd bake a pie and be like, hey, baby, I, here's a... Here's a pie for you. So. I'm telling you what, it any works. man who can bake, it works. Right it was my pretty heart. cool. Uh, but it, you know, I don't think that most people think of rockers in the kitchen baking pies. You'd be surprised. You know, most when you're on the road, most of the time, what you get is like uh, pizza. Like every show that you play, so yeah. it's like you know what? It's like most people that work for us are most musicians and artists that like uh, you need. They needed a gig when they're off the road, so we, you know, we've taken wayward rock and rollers to bake pies and you know, and give them something else to do when they're off the road to make a little <laughs> bit of bread. You know, so. It turned out to be something pretty amazing. I mean, I've been baking pies my whole life, and then uh, it just kind of evolved in this really cool, cool thing. Like, I've been touring for the last couple of years solely off a of pie, not from getting paid. Super, no kidding. Not from getting paid. Pies pay the bills. You know it. And so, um, you you said you've been baking pies your entire life. So did this start with kid. mom? Did it start with grandma? How did yeah, you learn you know, to bake? Yeah, so my folks used to send me out to uh, Indianapolis in the summertime for a couple of weeks, and my grandmother used to bake all the time. So we would, uh, you know, in in lieu of anything to do, we'd sit around and bake, and uh, and hang out with her. But it was, it was basically I just be her like prep cook the whole day, and she baked something. It wasn't always pies, but it was always like a custard or cakes or something like that. So I love it. We hung out. It was a good time. Okay, and so now, um, Steve, you guys have brought. Uh, four different versions here today, yep. and I think something that's interesting is that these are not just sweet pies that you guys whip up. We got no. some savory as well. We got two sweet and two savory. We got a steak mushroom onion gruyere. Steak mushroom. Oh yeah, it's really bad. Okay. This is uh, a <laughs> fat tire beer bread sausage pie. It's oh. really good. Cooked in beer. Okay. And then we got and some chocolate meringue and a peach cream. Which it's for it's for Independence Day. I was gonna say for the fourth here. I totally. love that. Um, how do you guys come up with these ideas uh, specifically for the, the savory ones and, and all the different flavors? Well, you know what? It's like this. You can pr pretty much put anything into pie, like anything that you dig, like anything you like for, for dinner, you know, mm -hmm. you can turn into a savory pie. Honestly, basically pie is, you know, you make a pie, it's portable, so you can just grab a hunk of pie and roll out, eat it, and, and do your thing. Anything, steak, you can have like... Seafood. We have tons oh, of different seafood. kinds of pies. Okay. Yeah, crab pies. We got all sorts of all stuff. All right. Well, we've got some pie lovers here in the studio. Come on, so guys, come on And uh, which one are you going to uh, cut up for Let's us today? Let's have some steak mushroom in the Gruyere okay. first. And we'll, you know, why don't we knock this out? Yeah, and since it is almost the 4th of July, yes, why right? not? Come on. I hate to cut yeah. up such a pie. I know. I know, but you got to. It's like, that's the thing that it breaks my heart every time. It's, it's a like, work it's cool. of art. Right? Um, okay, so get some plates. There we go. Here we went to plates. All right. So dangerouspiesdc.com. And can folks also find on your website where you guys are touring? Oh, absolutely. If you go to dangerouspies.com, it hits all the shops. We have shops in D.C., um, Baltimore, and Detroit. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Now, these are really hearty pies. About how oh, much yeah. are they going to run you? Um, anywhere between, you're going to get, for, for sweet pies, anywhere between 28 to 35 bucks. Okay. You can get a slice. You can sit down in the shop, have pie, oh. hit the truck. Oh. The truck's mm -hmm. traveling around all the time, so you can hit the pie truck anytime. time. But it's really Mushroom cool. Like, you can stop by, like, right outside. We have pie out here once in a while, like, yeah. right in this neighborhood. Well, you better. Of course. You can't, you can't forget us. Here's a picture of, uh, of your of your The uh, pie mobile. Truck. Yeah, the, yep. the pie mobile. I love right. it. Yeah, it's okay. really cool. Can we get a shot of this? This is one of those savory ones. This is the steak, mushroom, and uh, gruyere. Oh, wow. Put a fork in that so just this right is, I was just going to say, this is a hearty serving yeah, you're not, of yeah. meat pie. <laughs> I mean, that's the meal right there. Like, you, you know, we usually cut up in six yeah. slices. It's a really, really good pie. Have a bite. Okay, I'm going to. All right. Rodney Henry, Steve McKeever with Dangerously Delicious Pies. Thanks for having us. Thank you guys right. so much for coming on. Yeah, it's cool to be here. Well, breakfast of champions right here. <laughs> right, totally.